of the cool aspects of being the writer that I am for ZDNet and YouTube uh, creator and things like that is there's opportunities out there sometimes to go meet with the companies that make the products, to get some background on the, these products, to have input on the products and things. And then we did build these relationships with the PR folks. Last night, my wife and I had an opportunity to do something that was pretty extraordinary, and I'm here to talk about it. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, otherwise known as Palm Solo. And this last week I was invited from one of my PR folks, I believe it was from my days writing about Microsoft Surface devices and things. And since I'm in the local area here in the Puget Sound, they reached out to see if I was interested in attending a Boys in the Boat advance at the SIF Cinema, which is a revamped, refurbished cinema, the old Cinerama, which is going to be opening up here pretty soon. So I was invited to watch The Boys in the Boat, and I won't give any spoilers in this video, I won't tell you the story or anything. It's a book um, that people have read for years, people used to read it in school and things like that. And it's, uh, about, uh, it's a book about the 1936 UW men's eight-person rowing team. And I'll leave it at that. It's a fantastic book. The movie's coming out on Christmas Day. And I had a chance to go with my wife last night to visit uh, this cinema and, um, and watch the movie. So we started off. There was a reception that was full of coaches, alumni, and current student-athletes. And I gotta say, my wife and I, I'm 6'1", but my wife and I felt very small with all of these tall uh, student athletes that have rowed crew in the past or are currently rowing crew. Uh, the men and women were very tall and I, it takes me back to the days of when I was at the Coast Guard Academy. So um, we went to the reception for a little bit and then we went to the theater, we grabbed our seats. Uh, there was an opening by the UW men's head coach, Michael Callahan, who's actually been the head coach at UW for, for over 20 years. And he provided some context to the story and the movie that we are about to watch. And also some inspiring discussion of the programs and the athletes and, and the program there at UW. In Seattle, at the University of Washington, in Conover. And uh, we are so delighted that you're here. So thank you for all coming. This is, a, this is the opportunity to show, you know, pure Northwest values, specific Northwest values, grit, determination, teamwork, and, you know, a humble uh, pursuit of excellence. You know, I think if you rode through this program, which many of us have, you know this, these qualities are going to be on the world stage, and we get to show everyone what, what it means to be a Husky. I mean, I, I'm so grateful and so uh, honored and um, touched to be the head coach of the University of Washington. Um, I wanted to tonight pick out a few groups. We were talking about who should be here. Of course, we couldn't have everyone, but we really wanted to make sure we had a lot of core people here. First people I want to recognize, without the boys, we won't be here tonight. So there's a lot of family members of the boys in the boat here tonight, and I want to recognize you. <laughs> The boys did it again. Can you imagine 1936 huddled around a radio listening to the races in Poughkeepsie or maybe in Berlin? They brought us all together. They're bringing the world together. And we need that right now. We need people to, to row as one, to be together, pull together. And we need a really good story. And they provided the ultimate story for us, a story of what we know as swing. And we know that better than maybe anyone else out there. So look, they're the boys in the boat. You're the boys in the boat, we are the boys in the boat, and we are writing this legacy now. Here, I got recruited here, Bob Burns brought me here, and uh, I never even thought I would coach here, and now it's become a light, almost 30 years being part of the program. And it, uh, many of you have touched me and made me better, mentored me, um, taught me, and the student athletes have taught me, and uh, made me a better person, and that is the ultimate goal of this program. We are creating the future leaders of our communities. And many of you are those leaders, and we are still creating them with our student-athletes, so thank you. So I went to the Coast Guard Academy, where crew was one of the most popular and successful sports. And um, unfortunately, I like tackling people too much, and I was really fast on the field, on the pitch. So I played uh, football and rugby at college instead of crew, but 
crew was right there on my list. Um, they were very inspiring. I attended the Head of the Charles Regatta, some of the other regattas. It was amazing to see eight people working together in such sync to form a near-perfect machine. So at CES in 2022, I actually met a UW alumnus, uh, Danny Hansen. She's a world champion and Paralympic athlete. And she kind of, she showed me the hydro at CES in 2022. Um, I was very interested in that because I was looking for some alternative form of exercise that wasn't so pounding on my legs like running is. And uh, rowing it turns out to be uh, something that works 86% of your muscles and it's a fairly low impact. So uh, shortly after CES, I, I got a, rowing, a hydro rowing machine, been paying the $42 a month for about 18 18 months so far and I'm loving the full body workout with a low impact on it. I've rowed somewhere near 700,000 meters so far. I, I could be doing it more often but I mix it up with biking and running. Um, but the additional strength of body movements really make it a perfect machine because it's not just rowing. There's also strength exercises, there's yoga, there's movement exercises and such. So that kind of ties together the whole UW thing. But right now the University of Washington is uh, having a pull together campaign. And as you know, when rowing, pulling together is the success of the team. So there's this pull together campaign campaign going on that's supporting Washington rowing and future generations of athletes. You know, if you watch the, uh, read the book or watch the movie, you'll see that the community helped get that 1936 team to the Olympics in Germany. And the community today can continue to rally around the athletes at the University of Washington and continue to help make that a fantastic program for rowing. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I encourage you to get out and watch The Boys in the Boat this holiday season. It's an inspiring and excellent movie that has a bit of a love story to it as well. May the mobile force be with you.